Okay, so today I want to give you guys a quick tutorial of how I created my simple text-based t-shirt designs that I talked about in my last video. So I'm going to leave some examples up on the screen. Cold in the house and I'm in the house cold. Cold in the house and I'm in the house cold. Cold in the house and I'm in the house cold and I'm cold in the house and I'm in the house. Yeah, I can't freaking do that. I don't know why, but it is literally always cold in my house. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Meg and I'm a content creator based in Pennsylvania. I make videos about making money online. I used to make videos about photography and videography, so I still do that as well, just not as much, especially with the quarantine. Right now, I'm not going to be making a lot of photography, videography, or adventure vlogs but I will still be making those in the future. But for now, I am more focused on finding different ways of making money online. So if you're into that type of content, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about how I created those simple text-based designs on Photoshop. I'm not a graphic designer and I don't have a lot of Photoshop experience, but for anyone that wants to get started with print on demand, I wanna create this tutorial for you guys. So for those of you that haven't seen seen my last video, I basically made a Teespring store called CEO of Social Distancing, where I created and listed t-shirts about social distancing and the whole quarantine situation that we're in. Today, in this video, I'm going to go into Photoshop and teach you guys how I created these basic designs. So first things first, we're gonna start off with the design that I think is the easiest in my opinion, and that is the quarantine and chill t-shirt design. Well, first I have to be screen recording. Cold in the house, cold in the house, cold. Cold in the house and I'm in the house, cold and I'm cold in the house and I'm in the house, cold. Cold in the house, cold in the house, cold. All right, <laughs> focus. Okay, um, yes guys, I still use the 2018 version of Photoshop. Um, I'm gonna create a new project. Okay, so this is really important. I figured this out from watching someone else's tutorial. The size of the design that you want is going to be 15 by 18. So you want your width, can't say that word, you want your width to be 15 and you want your height to be 18. You want it to be in inches, okay? So not pixels, 15 by 18 inches. My resolution is at 144, so I think that's good. And then it's pixels, pixels per inch. And then color mode, you want to change it to CMYK color. And then 8-bit is fine. And the white background is fine for now. Just make sure that you have the dimensions 15 by 18 inches because that's the most important part. That's the size of the canvas that you want to create your design on. This is a really simple design. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to type quarantine, and that's a really weird font. That's not the font that we want to use. Okay, so the font that I used for the quarantine and chill design is called Cinematographica. I probably downloaded from the website dafont.com. That's where I download all of my fonts. After staring at the Netflix logo, I decided that this was the font that was the closest. Um, so when I do these designs, I like to create each word like as its own. You can edit the way each word looks. I made quarantine a lot bigger. I made and a little smaller. And then I'm gonna make chill a little bit bigger than and, but not as big as quarantine. So like that, that looks good. Oh, the words are white. Now that I at least have text on the canvas, I'm going to go ahead and delete the background. Um, you just have to unlock the background and then click delete layer, or you can just press the delete key. This is going to make the background transparent. You have to have a transparent background when you go to put your design on a t-shirt. Now I'm gonna change the color because the words are white. All right, and now I'm going to um, double click each word and then click blending options. If you select stroke, it'll create like a little outline around the letters. And then I do that for each word. 
that's pretty much all for the quarantine and chill design. It's pretty easy. Okay, so this is important. When you're exporting it, you want to click quick export as PNG because you have to save it as a PNG. And this is what I've learned along the way because I didn't know this before I started designing these t-shirts. But you can't save it as a JPEG because then it's gotta change your background back to white just as a default and then you can't put it on other designs. I did mess something up. I knew I was forgetting about this, but so not only do you create like the stroke like the outline around the letters. When I was doing this design, I also created a shadow. Okay, so you wanna press the check where it says drop shadow. And then for blend mode, I have it on darker color. And as you see here, I have a dark gray color selected. I have the opacity on 80% and I have the angle set to a 180 degree angle. For distance, I have 24 pixels. Spread, I only have 2%. And then for size, I only have four. And then you just press okay. This is a lot better and i do this in a lot of my designs i like to add not only the outline for the letters but also the shadows because i feel like it just gives it more detail in the design and that makes for like a better t-shirt design in general all right so that's all for the quarantine and chill design i hope you guys like it i'm gonna have a link to the store in my bio so you can check it out quarantine and chill is one that i've honestly wanted to buy myself Alright guys, now let's jump right back into the second design. The one that I want to show you next is probably one of my favorites, the social distancing stay inside, save lives design with the toilet paper. And I'm sorry if I go through this one pretty fast because I am going somewhere soon. I think I'm going to walk the dogs, take them to a lake nearby with my family. Once again, make sure that when you have your new document that your width and height is 15 by 18 inches resolution is 144 pixels by inch and your color mode is set to CMYK color 8-bit is fine and the white background is fine for now press create let's start with the first word social distancing and then underneath that we're gonna write stay inside save lives okay I just realized I'm pretty sure I'm not screen recording so far I wrote out all of the words social distancing stay inside save lives I left this little space because as you can see in the design I have that same picture of the toilet paper we're going to change this font because I know that this font is phosphate okay and then I'm going to change distancing to red so the font that I use is called just tell me what and once again I got this from defont.com and I'm going to add the stroke effect to these ones by double clicking the layer and then um, clicking on blending options and then where it says stroke all right so going to make this a lot smaller 10 points that's good and then do the same thing to this one. Double click, press blending options, then press stroke, and it's already on the same settings. So now I'm going to add our toilet paper to the picture. All right, so zoom in, and I'm going to erase the background by pressing the magic eraser tool pressing OK when this little message pops up. OK, so as you can see, because I was not careful, it took out like a little chunk of this toilet paper. So I'm going to click Edit, Undo, Magic Eraser, turn the tolerance down to like six and try it again. And boom, we're all good now. <laughs> And okay, so I have this little effect on the word distancing. There's a shadow um, and we're going to add that by double clicking on the layer that says distancing, pressing the blending options and then going down to where it says drop shadow. And I believe it's on like a 180 degree angle. And then we're gonna come down, double click where it says distancing and then click warp text. And I'm going to take a wild guess that this is also the arc lower effect and it's going to be not that strong. Last but not least, I'm going to put an effect on the word social. As you can see in the original design, it's like going up a little hill. I also did that with the warp text effect. So I think it's the flag effect. It's either the flag or the wave effect. I think it might have been the flag. It's not the same exact thing. This design was a bit harder to recreate. It turned out relatively similar and it still turned out good, in my opinion. That's how I designed these t-shirts. 
So I hope you guys got a little bit of an idea of how I created these designs. Sorry if I went through it a little bit fast. I'm running out of time and we're gonna take our dogs on an adventure really soon. Well, that's all for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you learned something from this video or you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Yeah, I've got a lot of fun videos planned coming up. I hope you guys are staying safe. Please remember to wash your hands um, and stay inside so that we can stop the spread of this virus. Social distancing saves lives and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.